It's three quarter time between East Ringwood and North Ringwood. East leading 11 6 72 to North Ringwood 6 8 44. But the Saints do have the big wind advantage in the last quarter, kicking towards the mountain highway end of the ground. Boys, Razor, you're the only one joining me here, but I reckon this wind is going to be crucial in this final quarter for the uh, for the Saints. Oh, look, yeah, but they've got to use it properly. You know, that to, to kick goals, I think you've got to get most of the goals kicking from this side of the ground. But, look, uh, yeah, look, you can't allow the wind just to, to do it for yourself. But, look, uh, that, going back to that quarter, look, uh, I thought Noel Thringle were a little bit disappointing after their second quarter. But, uh, you know, only kicking two points. But, look, uh, East Ringwood, I thought their endeavour in that quarter was fantastic. But what they've got to just do is keep it up for this the next quarter. I think they've got a, a big enough margin to, to uh, you know, at the moment to uh, to win this game. But uh, but whether or not they will, it's up to them. Yeah, you're certainly right there, Razor. But I really didn't like the game so far out of the guts from Chris Cheney. He's been superb in the midfield, hasn't to he? To me, he's been one of the best players on the ground. Look, as Pete said, it's just his strength. He's, he's, he's got a low centre of gravity with it, the style of body he's got, and he just holds his feet in a contest, and uh, his strength is just fantastic. I think his low centre of gravity comes from the, the few extra pies he's been having after the game, BWS, <laughs> but really looking forward to what this final quarter is going to dish up. Do you think North would have what it takes to come in with a bang, BWS? Well, we haven't seen a goal kick down the far end for the last two quarters. Of course, North Ring would kick two in the first term, but otherwise we haven't seen a goal kick down that way. So the odds are that North Ringwood are going to come uh, flying home here, just the way that the game's been going. I think the margin of 28 points is just the margin where East Ringwood would like to have it at the moment. It might just be a little bit too great. They might be able to hold on, uh, but you never know. North Ringwood will be looking to kick a couple of goals very quick in this final term, get that pressure on, and then they've got basically a quarter of football still left to, uh, to ping back and kick three goals to get their noses in front. But it is a very, very handy breeze. It's a very, very exciting spread that we've got in front of us here from the East Ringwood Football Club as well at three-quarter time. And You've got Wayne the salami, Brashes. salami and cheese, and all of a sudden uh, Wayne Brash is uh, back, back on board the media team. He, went, uh, <laughs> he must have smelt the trays going up the uh, up the stairs, and uh, he can sit wherever he likes, our Brash. But three-quarter time is almost over here. We're no doubt going to cross down boundary side very shortly. Ben, just on that margin, at the moment that they've got to kick five more goals than East Ringwood. Now, if East Ringwood can just snare a goal early in the quarter, it could just break the, the back of North Ringwood. As Wayne Brasher would say, it could be G.O. Ben Warren-Smith, but Peter Banfield's huddle has been going for a long time. It looks very animated at the moment. Yeah, and I can see Max Dancamp uh, standing uh, outside the East Ringwood huddle, so he got to hear what Marcus Bazzaglo had to say at three-quarter time. Let's cross down to him and hear those important messages. How do, what, how do they feel at the moment, Max? Yeah, so they're very quiet down there in the huddle today, but they seem to be pretty confident. They're talking about you know, keeping it low, lowering the eyes, making sure they've got hands on the footy, because if they've got hands on the footy, then North Ringwood uh, can't, can't get the ball and can't score. Um, but uh, Marcus Bazzaglo did then run off to all of his players and you know give them all individual messages as they all ran onto the field. Um, so there was certainly a lot being said in that huddle despite the quiet out there. Great stuff, Max. Looks like one of the warmest people in the ground today with that magnificent hipster beard that he sports <laughs> down there. Fantastic stuff. He'll hand the microphone over to Will Taylor, who was with Peter Banfield in the North Ringwood Football Club at three-quarter time. Look, uh, he pretty much said uh, he was very calm about it. I'm surprised what Gus actually kind of did there um, just before, but he was pretty calm about it. He said, take the game on, keep the pressure up. And a lot of times he said, lower the eyes and uh, the bats need to hold defend really strongly. And it's not a kicky go, so need to keep that pressure going. Just going quickly for the stats as well. Thanks to Chiefs Tapper, East Ringer Wonder, inside forward 50s again, 39 to 31 so far in this game. Clearances were 44 to 25 for the first three quarters. And the tap outs, 28 to 0 in that third quarter. Overall, East Ringer was 70, North Ringer 24. Anfield wins the tap down, tries to find a teammate there. Decker working really hard, and so is his teammate there in Shield. Shield loses possession there, and the ball's going to trickle towards the boundary line. 
will have a throw in. And notice the lineup change, Peter West. Joshy Ralph starting forward for the Saints could be a match changer. Yeah, they needed to change something up, didn't they? So uh, the, uh, get the big men down there for the long bombs going to with, with the wind as the umpire brings the ball back in now. It'll be Cleveland getting a little bit held onto then. The umpire didn't see it by Tarachua, but it came out now to Havonan. Little handball away, a quick kick up towards the half forward line, looking for the rent and direction. It was palmed down in front of him, getting boot to ball just in the nick of time there. Was Wood over the top there. Look away, handball out towards the direction there of Tim Jones over. He sees at the boundary line right near the cricket nets out here at East Ringwood. And we'll have a boundary throw in. 28 point margin to the home side at the moment. They're playing good football, East Ringwood. Pie to bring the ball back in. They're kicking against the breeze, so North Ringwood really wanting to get a start on here. Charlie Haley sees the ball over the boundary line and out of bounds, right underneath the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. So, 98.1 Radio Eastern on a Sunday afternoon. It doesn't get much better than this. EFL.org.au, wherever you are around the globe, you can tune in today, and there are plenty as it comes out now. Banfield, little handball. That was good play. They'll try and set something up here through Haley, who was under a lot of pressure. Just got the handball away in the nick of time. Devlin out wide now for East Ring. We've got it to Waitman. He got it to Bishop on the right boot. He's kicking it towards Ballow. <laughs> the ball swung and swung and swung. And through for a minor score, it goes. That had a bit of Glenn McGrain swing about at that one. Absolutely it did. So it'll be Tim Jones to bring the ball back in, Gus. Thanks, Benny. The Saints need a goal. They need one quick. So Jones with his hands on the footy, trying to bring the ball back in for the Saints. Plays on, finds a short target here, and Michael Loco. He's been reasonably solid today, Loco. Right in front of the cricket nets in that little ditch. He goes long down to centre wing position. Trying to find it. Ralph. Ralph couldn't quite get to the front of the pack. There's a few North Ringwood jumpers, and well as one East Ringwood jumper in Martin Eckers. And he did it superbly to bring the ball to ground. So Martin Eckers played a pretty reasonable game today, Frosty. He's been tough and in and under. He has, and one thing really noticeable in the start of this last quarter is East Ringwood's endeavour has maintained in this quarter, unlike their, their, how well they exhibited in the second term. So North Ringwood counter attack. Trying to find a teammate there, brought it front and centre, but a good mark yeah. in the end has been taken. Beautiful stuff there from Rory Harbeck. Great use of the body, Bray. Yeah, look, he's been, yeah, he's been fantastic in his marking today. You know, he kicked a couple of early goals in the game, but uh, hasn't had a lot of chances since then. But his marking's been very good. So he'll go for his third of the game. This will be a great start for the Saints in their surge home. He'll kick from 55 metres out with the breeze. Rory Harbeck. Kick looks good off the boot and it's just gone to the left-hand side. Not an ideal start for the Saints, but the ball nonetheless is in their forward 50 where they need it to be. So I think Bellow's got kick in duties. No, it's not. It is with Bellow. James of the James variety. James Bellow to kick in for the Roos. Not many options presenting. He might have to go long down the wing. That he does. Goes towards the far side of the ground. Good punch from the back there. Trying to keep the ball alive here is Hiroven. That he does. Goes inbound to Bellow once again. Bellow goes to Eckers. Eckers throws the ball in the boot. Trying to find a teammate. Good mark taken there by Devlin. Devlin plays on. Looks to find a hit up target. Good strong mark out in front from Dylan Bellow. Dylan Bill right in front of the Ringwood Mazda sign. He's true been very wing good position. today, Gus. He's, he's been super. A, he's given him a target up forward. Both the Bellow boys have been super in the blue and white for the Roos. So Bellow goes long. Great spoil at the back there. In the hands now of Andrew Fenton. Charlie Halley putting his head over the foot. He should be rewarded for a free kick but nonetheless. He's going to get a ball up. Let's cross boundary side now to Maxi. Uh, the wind has picked up another notch here and it is absolutely freezing down here. So that wind is now going to play an even bigger factor in this last quarter than we initially thought. Great work from you there, Maxi. So the wind is picking up in North Ringwood's favour. They need a goal and they need one quick. Fenton wins the tap down. In the hands now of Bello. Eckers just got absolutely pole axe and he probably will get pinned behind the ball. He doesn't. Great tap coming over the back there. So Taratura doing the majority of the ruck, but great tap land by Taratura. Trying to find a teammate in Whelan. Quick hands there to Charlie Haley, and a big tackle there. 
and he's paid a free kick nonetheless to Charlie Haley, but the Saints get on with it. Comes in bound to Sammy Banfield. Sammy Banfield got dispossessed. Ball's in the hands now of Chadwick. Now it's Banfield once again on the cricket pitch, and the ball's pinballing around. It's a bit slippery there. And we'll have a ball up once again. One thing about East Ringwood is they really struggle to change tempo in the way they play their football. Kicking into the breeze, they should be looking to try and slow this game down a little bit, maintain possession, but they're still trying to play on at every cost, which isn't really the way they should be trying to, to maintain this, this lead and, and, and win this game. He looks pretty hot there, but the ball has gone long down the line. The intended teammate there was uh, Harbeck. Harbeck goes to Ralph. Ralph, little chip to go to the top. Puts Sammy Banfield out of the pump and running back with the flight. He's done pretty well. Now it's a foot race between Banfield and Eckers. Banfield wins the tap. Little dribble kick, Sammy Banfield. Going for his fourth, sorry, third goal of the day. And that's just trickled through for a behind. He's been lively for the Saints, Sam Banfield. He's been good, but particularly in the second half, Gus. That he has, Ray. Speaking of the Bellow boys once again, James will kick out for the Ruse. They need to build some possession up here, East Ringwood. To so he plays on. Bellow goes long to the broadcast with his wing, trying to find Renton. Ball shook it out the back of the pack. There's a few North Ringwood jumpers there, but in the end, the ball was taken across the line by Daniel Wood. Six and a half minutes played here at East Ringwood Recreation Reserve. 11 7 70 play, play 6 10 46. We even got the knockdown East Ringwood quick kick out of the pack and uh, gained a value of 25 metres. Also, our awards today given on EFL game day. There's two of them today. Of course, the player of the day, the Tobin Brothers player of the day, a $50 Colesmeyer voucher. Three two and one votes given by the crew after the after the final siren, and of course the vibro goal of the day as well. We've had a few contenders for that. A fifty dollar deep tissue massage for any player recovering after a strong game of football comes out now. Fenton has it for North Ringwood. He takes it upon himself. Fenton, can he put it through? He can't. Had options. He pushed it to the right hand side. Harbeck had a little bit of space as well out in front. He could have just popped it up. But I think at this stage in the game, you've got to back yourself from that position. Well, if they're going to win this game, they've got to score a couple of goals before the 15 minute mark of the quarter. You can't leave it to the last 10 minutes or so. So it'll be James Bellow to bring the ball back in. Weighing up his options. Kick goes very, very long. And Charlie Haley's touched it inside the line where he should have just he let it go let out it go. of bounds on the full. So Yeah, but you're up here. You could see that he's with an ears down there, Ben. Well, the line's closer to him than it is to <laughs> me, Ray. So yeah, pretty, yeah. Sure, pretty sure he could have made that decision himself. But he himself. was watching the football. You weren't. Yes, I was. I was calling it. <laughs> You're not going to win this argument, Ray. As it comes in now, Renton got the handball, got the knockdown. Comes out Eckers now. East Ringwood, a barrel no goes up right into Peter Banfield's dugout. Now we've got another <laughs> third possession. Out of bounds on the ball this time. Heath Decker to bring the ball back into play. On the left boot. Going to get every bit of purchase that he can. Oh, look at that work there by Haley just to work out and <laughs> cleave it out of the contest. The smallest man versus the big man on the ground. The smallest man won out. The David and Goliath situation there as it comes out. Jack Whelan on the left boot up towards the half forward line. Bellow overrun it. Sharp was in there in game 150. He wants to spark his side somehow. Nicely done there by Price to knock it into the top of the goal square. Picked up there by oh! Shepard. You can't believe it. He's just threaded the eye of the needle, Shepard. And he's another contender for the Vibro goal of the day. That's an absolute ripper. Came brought something out of nothing, paddled it to himself. This just absolutely impossible. That he is the clubhouse leader. He yeah. is. The, he's got that done and dusted. That is the goal of the day, without any doubt. I thought Joshy Waitman's goal on the second term was pretty. Sorry, in the first term was pretty special. But that one just says thank you very much. What an absolute cracker that was. And now the North Ringwood Saints. Well, they're coming. 11-7-73, 7-11-53 ball up in the centre of the circle and once again at the bottom of the pack guess who, Jack Wheel and he's been super today for the Saints Taratura in the ruck with Cleveland big crunching tackle over the back from Sammy Banfield but it's not quite strong enough to stop the North Ringle Football Club going forward, big tackle there from Loco was forced off to Renton as the wind picks up here on the balcony and I've lost all my notes and everything except my headpiece 
I don't know who's got the footy, but it's in the forward 50 of North Rich East Ringwood. Ray's flown off into the other end of the crowd. Renton wins the tap down. Michael Loco with a big crunching sling tackle. Great work over the back there from Brad Jones. Thanks, Will. We know you're cold. As the umpire bowls the ball back up and Joshy Ralph <laughs> looks to build possession here. Great work there from the big fellow Joshy Ralph. He goes, don't argue. Thanks well for done. coming very much. Swings onto his left boot, the trusty left boot, but it nah. wasn't so trusty Had that Had to time. do something with it. And he went straight to James Bellow. Great comments from our cameraman there. Thank you very much, Lee, for chiming in with some brilliance. <laughs> so Bellow goes wide trying to find a teammate there yeah, and Brad Jones, works. that he does. Had to do something at that time and that he did. So now Jones... Running back with the fly Whoa. there was Payne. Big fly, but couldn't quite do it. Eckers once again finds his teammate here in Devlin. Devlin goes wide, finds the teammate here. Nice, in nice. Hubbard. Inbound here to Bishop. Bishop launches, and it's just going to the left-hand side. That would have brought the house down here at East Ringwood Recreation Reserve. But nonetheless, it's East Ringwood. It only opened today. <laughs> <laughs> East Ringwood, 11 8 74 to North Ringwood, 7 11 53. 11 and a half minutes gone in the final term, BWS. Decker brings the ball back in. It's a high one as well. Standing strong, Loco took it in the front spot. He'll be looking to move the ball on as fast as possible. 21 points is a the margin. They need four goals, North Ringwood. Right in front of our boundary riders, which we'll cross down to now, Max Dancamp. Uh, yeah, Timmy Jones has just come off after that really heavy marking collision. Nah, he's looking all right, but he's still proppy. And also, Matty Payne, who's got the ball now, also was not down in that contest. So Payne uses the wing position and ball being knocked over the boundary line and out of bounds by James Ballow. What a great game he's had today. He's been fantastic. Oh, if he's not in the, in the best three players on the ground today, I've been watching a different game than everybody. I don't think it was that good. You'll what be, game are you watching? You'll, <laughs> you'll be giving votes, Frosty, so ex we'll expect to see him in there. So it comes in now. Cleveland had the front spot. I think he's had a fantastic game as well. Fresh air shot by Fenton comes out wide now. Here's Hubbard on the left boot. Maurice Ringwood goes out inside, forward 50. The ball's effectively going to carry here. Nicely done there by Bishop. Got it away. Here's Waitman. So Waitman rich. kicks it. Goal! He squeezed it in somehow. He just sat it up and the wind eventually brought it back and it stuck inside the post. That could be the goal that gives East Ringwood four points today. Bendigo Bank scoreboard as we hit the t 10 or 12 minute mark of this final term. Should have gone with 12 as the final score comes up at the moment. 80 plays 53. And I'll tell you what, now almost half a quarter's gone and they've squared the ledger, eh, Ben? Yeah, look, uh, Waitman gets the credit for that goal. But look, Jaden Bishop, the way he carried the ball, he, he ran through a corridor of four or five opposition players and he was the one that got it to Waitman. So once again, Cleveland wins the tap and North Ringer win the clearance. Great work there from Fenton. Goes long and great strong mark taken by Rory Harbeck. He's been lively up forward today. Let's cross boundary side now. Yeah, Tim Jones has looked like he's just copped a corky, so he's just getting a bit of work and should be back out there in no time. Great work, Maxie. Now Rory Harbeck, this is the goal I need more than ever the Saints to bring the margin back. Rory Harbeck, 30 metres out, 45 degree angle, no worries, thanks for coming. Rory Harbeck kicks his third, and the Saints, they pegged his margin back, I should say. East Ringwood, 12 8 80. North Ringwood, 8 11 59. 14 minutes played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard, and it's a 21 buffer to the Roos, Ray Baird. Yeah, that was, the, look, that was the answer that North Ringwood had to come up with. After East Ringwood kicked that goal down the other end, they had to answer straight away if there's going to be any chance in this game. So they look like they've thrown their best engine room inside. The, the, the Saints, I should say. Fenton. Taratua. Good crunching tackle there from Banfield. Once again, Fenton wins the clearance. Looking to find it. Harbeck again. The ball might have shooting first. Oh, well done at Rory Fenton. Keeps the ball alive. Finds his teammate here. Ball in the hands of Fenton. <laughs> I don't know who's got the foot now. <laughs> Now it's Griffiths the long sleeve did a big Aussie diving board thingy. <laughs> oh, just fair dink have lost the plot and Loco's taken a mark. Ben Warren Smith Loco taken over. Loco takes it just inside the Senate Square. He takes off in the end. 
then kicks a skyscraper up towards the wheel and direction. Sam overran the football that time and then he went after it again. He had teammate there in Griffiths. They should have been able to raffle that, the two North Ringwood players, but to no avail. And once again, James Ballow comes in and just puts that added bit of pressure to cause the stoppage. We'll cross down very shortly to Will Taylor as Charlie Haley uh, over the top handball. Got it away, here sharp over the top. This is promising, here's Shepard. He was tricky earlier, got the handball away. Ralph knocked it on, Haley around the body. Haley, has it got the distance? No, fantastic stuff by Bishop. He just put his legs in the right spot at the right time then dived over the line. And, uh, 20 points is the margin out here. 80 plays, 60. East Ringwood lead, 16 minutes gone. Will Taylor with some choose tap stats. Yeah, North Ring really dominating this uh, last quarter. Clearances at the moment is 10 to 8 in favour of North Ring. Insight forward 57 to 3 in favour of North Ringwood. And the free kick count in have gone their way at 2 to 0. Thanks very much there, Will. Ball in the hands of the big fella, Chris Cherney. He's been rock solid today. Cherney goes short, finds his teammate here in Farmer. Farmer has the ball in front of Marcus Pazaglo's box. No bias. Not Val Budgers. <laughs> no the ball goes, oh, big fly over the back there. I thought I should have made a free kick because he got absolutely nowhere near it. And Peter Banfield gets his fourth possession. <laughs> Peter Banfield <laughs> looking Peter the Banfield coaches box. <laughs> As you can hear in our special effects mic, which is very loud, that the North Ringwood fans are quite vocal about that one. Tap one down by Taratua. At the bottom of the pack there, as he is all day, is David Evans Marcius. And we'll have a ball up. True center wing position. 17 minutes gone here. 20 point margin in favor of the Ruse. Cerny throws the ball into his right boot. Great spoil coming across the back there from Johns. Ball's just pinballing around there. Pains there for the R Saints. And we'll have a ball up right on the forward 50 arc. Pete, once again, Cerny's strength at that stoppage, wasn't it? He just runs in a straight line, puts the ball, tucks the ball under his arm and just barges through. It's really good to see. And again, Speaking he's of the devil, and his tackling pressure has been absolutely superb. We'll have a ball up, 45 metres out from the East River goal. You'd feel a goal here, would we'll put the icing on the cake. Tap went down to a sitting duck there, and he just literally <laughs> picked him back. <laughs> And uh, everyone has a bit of a chuckle there, but he's been absolutely <laughs> superb. Aaron Fenton today for the Saints. BWS, take it away. Renton got the knockdown straight into the arms there at Banfield. Slams it on his boot towards the Ralph direction. The big man did well. Got boot to ball. Just kick up towards the half forward line where Harbeck does lead the race for the Saints. Little look away handball. He was looking for shield. Couldn't quite cut, uh, chop it off there, but Patera was in there for East Ringwood and he'll hold the ball up just outside the centre square, almost centre half forward here for North Ringwood, trailing by 20 points. There's only about 10 minutes to go in this final term as the umpire throws it up. Nicely done there by Evans Marcius who kicked it out wide, but the mark's been taken by Loco. He's been a good play for North Ringwood today. And uh, as you give a guy a rap, he absolutely mozzed it as it came out now. Whelan was in there, so too was his brother. Jack's the one to go after it again. He took off, but he spent it before he had it. Umpire set play on. Waitman, little handball over the top. This is now promising. Eck is going after a fantastic tackle by Dan Wood. Brought him to ground and he'll be rewarded for it. Across centre half back for North Ringwood. They'll be looking to move the ball quickly. They'll be wanting to go direct. So Wood just stops props and then kicks it into the middle of the ground. That was okay. The mark there's been taken by Johns who wants to switch the ball out wide. That was risky. He was looking for Haley, but he was the smallest man in the contest in the end. And it was a silly kick because Mitch Farmer was there just to take the easiest of marks. Switches the ball out wide. Here's Jones on the right boot using the grandstand side. Spots up his teammate there in Hubbard. Hubbard will use the left. Switches the ball back in play. Nice tackle there by Fenton. Brought his opponent to ground in that instant. Nicely done though by Eckers. Got the handball away. A little shimmy of a kick by Jones out wide. Didn't work out well. There's Jack Whelan. Got the handball away. Over the top of the football there, Farmer. And the umpire's going to come in and bounce this one. No, he's trying to let it go. It was good umpiring in the end. Try and get the spills out. And eventually, we're going to have it restart at 60 metres out from the East Ringwood goal line. If they kick another one, it's game, set, and match. And they're enjoying having it up in their end as well because it comes out now. Dean tried to get it away to his teammate in Shepherd, who laid a good tackle. There's still a lot of players around this football. Eckers, though, for East Ringwood, goes after it three times. Evans Marcius, handball out wide. That was a throw to Devlin that time. The umpire saw it. 
And it'll be a free kick to the Saints across half back in the, in the arms of Daniel Wood, Gus. Great call there, BWS. So Wood has the footy at true centre half back. One of three players wearing a helmet today for the Saints. Goes in the Ralph direction. Great spoil over the back now. Now he's oh. been looking counter attack. That was probably a throw as well, but he's got <laughs> the footy back. Devlin goes long trying to find a target. Great strong mark was dropped from Jaden <laughs> Bishop. Every time I give someone a rap, they just completely <laughs> top it up. I've had an absolute stinker of the migraine in those regards today. I'm going early, boys. Game's over. Less than 10 minutes no, ago, so North Ring would have to kick four goals to win. <laughs> East Ringwood are doing enough. Good. Take your headset off, Steve, <laughs> next week, mate. He's <laughs> going. He's <laughs> gone. That's it. He's don't gone. Don't tell him that. He's driving me home. Don't tell him that. <laughs> well, in the meantime, the ball goes into the top of the goal square, and a mark has actually been taken this time by Darcy Hubbard. And you feel, boys, if he kicks this one, it'll be game, set, and match. Only five and minutes can, left, Gus. And we can tell Ray Baird to go on because he's annoying me a bit uh, too he's much. Come back. He's come back. No, oh, he's, he's back. Oh, he's back. Ray Elvis Presley. Even if, he doesn't, even if he doesn't kick this, it's over, mate. Game's over. Not a lot, a lot, lot, not a lot of time left, I'd agree Here's with you, Ray. Hubbard to put the icing on the cake. And look at the ruse get around him. The margin now goes out to East Ringwood, 13, 8, 86. North Ringwood, 8, 11, 59. Frost, I'm going to warn you now, don't tell us that you told you so, because we already know. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, Gus. Beautiful. So, I'm going to put it out there. Frosty did tip East Ringwood. None of it else did. That's all we need to mention for the rest of the day. North yeah, Ringwood. I told you also. Uh, that'll do us. BWS, take us away. 21 minutes gone here at East Ringwood Reserve. Inside the final five minutes out here. That's why I'm on special comments. Oh, uh, to start it again, can the Roos just continue to ice that cake underneath the pack? Mark Neckers brings the ball back up for the umpire. Great performance here by East Ringwood. Geez, don't they lift another leg when they play these local derbies? Inside 450, the kick goes. Loco, one of North Ringwood's best players today, takes another strong mark. Got very close to the man on the mark, but switched it out wide, looking for Shepard, who's probably got himself a $50 voucher, got it to Wheel, and who dropped the pill. Should have been pinged for that one. Eckers did well, gave it away. Here's Osborne, charged Oops. through this way, that way. He might want the goal of the day. Kicks it to the top of the goal square. Decker got a fist on a bellow off the ground. Well Keep done, another one. Loco. Well done by Loco. He got, just dived at the boot. And Dave Parker, the goal umpire, was he right was on top it. of that one. He was all over it, big Davey. Not sure if Michael Loco or Heath Shaw in the 2010 Grand Final. Doesn't that rub salt in the wounds, Ben Warren Smith? <laughs> Who bought him? <laughs> <laughs> As the ball goes long to the center of the square, good mark dropped there, bloody hell, from Sam Whelan. Ball's in the hands now of Jack. Jack goes long to find his teammate here and Anthony Sharp. Not many clean possessions Whoa. here as <laughs> Joshy Ralph cops a nice little falcon in the face. Ball's come out now to <laughs> Hubbard. Hubbard dispossessed by Haley. Haley and Hubbard going head to head. Ball knocked forward there by Shepard. Great stuff. And the ball's going to be balled up. Oh, no, it's not. Bellow wins the ball out now. Finds his teammate here in Osborne. Osborne goes long down the line. Great work there from all parties involved. That's harsh not to be called a mark. Yeah, well, I thought it was too. Couldn't actually see who it was, but great work there from Daniel Wood. He's been super today as the umpires paid a free kick, and it's going the way of Martin Eckers. Paid against Sam Whelan for backchatting the umpire for not paying him a free kick or high time. What I will say yeah, about... Have a look at him. Mark Griffiths going head-to-head -head here with Osborne. The p I reckon the punch on's more entertaining than the footy. Ben Warren Smith take it away. Well, it's Cherney now. He's going to switch the play. East Ringwood are happy to go on with this one, and it goes out wide. Here's Batira inside forward 50. He goes and copying one for his troubles. Bishop, he got one high, and he'll go back and have a shot. Ray Baird, the umpiring today is one of the best I've ever seen in my time with the AFL. I think it's been sensational. Yeah, they've been very, very good, Ben, but do you think it's been made a little bit easier with the three umpires? Do you like that? Oh, well, uh, to me, it's. I think it's worked absolutely perfectly. Perfectly today. They've worked well together. Can't see, I haven't yeah. seen them put a foot wrong. We've challenged basically nothing as well. So a fantastic effort by them. And it's not often we give them a big, a, an absolute massive raffle, let alone the people over the boundary side as well. But what a fantastic job they've done today. Bishop comes in. Bishop would love a goal. Bishops would not enjoy where that ended up. Goal kicking training this week for him, BWS. Out of bounds on the full. Decker to bring the ball back in. There's not 
too much longer to go in this match. A short pass is on. Jack Whelan takes the mark in front of his opponent in Hubbard. Whelan switches the ball back in. Loco is uh, wrapping up the possessions today. Short pass is on. Dangerous. Waitman was there to chop it off. Osborne was in there as well. Loco go back after it. Had the time. Had the poise. Got it away to Whelan. He busted two tackles. Got the ball in towards the middle of the ground. The Roos do have the numbers though. At the fall of the ball. It might be power to pick this one up. Nicely done there by Fenton. He's had a good game also for the Saints. He hits the deck. And Power will uh, push himself up off him. And will have a bounce inside the centre square. The final couple of moments out here at East Ringwood today. Tara Tour and Cleveland are back battle once again. Today's been won by Cleveland, no doubt about that whatsoever. North Ring are looking to go forward, trying to find a teammate at the top of the square. Well done coming across the back of the pack there was Daniel Wood for the Saints. And he's going to tell Heath Decker, hang on, mate, I'll kick it out. So Daniel Wood for the Saints. East Ringwood 13 10 88, North Ringwood 8 11 59. Kick finds Griffiths. Griffiths goes towards a teammate there and Shepard couldn't quite mark it. Little banana punch there goes long down the line. It's just going to bounce in front of Peter Banfield's coaching box. Is he going to go for five? No, nah, he's no. handballed it off to his sister. Non greedy play there from Peter Banfield. Always thinking about the team. <laughs> I'm going to have a ball up once again in front of Peter Banfield's box. So the ball comes back into play now. Great work there from Cleveland. Finds his teammate in Cerny. Cerny's been superb. Goes to Eckers. Eckers, big crunching tackle over the back there from Shepard. Michael Loco picks the footy up one hand and evades one, evades two. Finds his teammate there in Hill. Hill goes long down the line trying to find a... It's all, all blue jumpers. Great work there from Bello. Bello finds Cleveland. Once again refuses to kick the footy on his brand new boots. Goes to Hubbard. Hubbard short kick finds a teammate here in Cerny who's been absolutely superb and the experience in class at Cerny will slow the play down. Funny He's bit. probably just going to want to hit a target up but he goes long to a pack trying to find Renton but a good strong mark has been taken there by Max Taratua. Taratua has his hands on the footy now as the clock counts down. 15 seconds to go here at East <laughs> Zero. It's a very short 15 seconds. The final sirens down here at East Ringwood Recreation Reserve. East Ringwood 13 10 88 have defeated North Ringwood 8 12 60. Congratulations to the East Ringwood Football Club who get their third win of the season. And boys, what a cracking game of football we've seen. A tale of two halves. It certainly was, Gus. And uh, look, all credit. That second quarter, they, they were very disappointing in that second quarter, but I tell you what, since half-time, as you pointed out, Pete, their endeavour and their enthusiasm and their attack on the